Hello everyone, welcome back to our Power BI channel. Here we are covering DAX functions in this series. In the previous tutorial guys, we have covered some time and intelligence DAX functions. And now in today's class guys, we will also learn more about some more time and intelligence DAX functions. So here are the topics guys, which we are going to cover in today's class. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It returns a table that contains a column of dates that begins with specify start date and continues until a specify end date. This function suits to pass a filter to the calculate function. Use it to filter an expression by custom date range. That means we have to use this function with calculate. And we have three parameters, dates, start date and end date. So let's go to Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So let's go to the practical page guys. So here guys, I have taken one table visual and under table visual guys, I have taken date column and total sales column. And under this slicer guys, I have taken all the dates. So guys, dates between DAX function helps to calculate specified start date and end date. So we can calculate the dates between two dates. And now let's apply this DAX function. So simply you need to go here on new measure and let me simply rename this measure as dates between and now I will write my DAX function. So I will start with this calculate. So under expression parameter guys, I will simply take sum of total sales column, which is from sales table bracket close and put it comma here and under filter one expression guys. Now I will use my DAX function, which is dates between. And look at the parameter guys. So the first parameter is dates. So under dates parameter guys, I will take date column, which is from calendar auto table comma. And the next parameter is start date. So I will simply take that date here only from where I want to start my calculation. So let's suppose I want to start my calculation from 1 1 2022. So I will simply take one additional formula, which name is date. And under date formula guys, we simply need to enter our date, which is 2022 and our month is 01 and the last is day. So our day is again 01 and close the bracket comma and our next parameter is end date. So let's suppose I want to perform my calculation till the date of January 5, 2022. So again, I will take date DAX function here and now I will write my this date which is 5 1 2022. So our year is 2022 comma month is January, which is 01 and our day is 5, which is 05 and close the bracket and hit enter. So here is our DAX function guys. And now let me drag and drop it here and put it into card visual. And now let me go here and convert into actual value. So our sales is 33,400. So it's only calculated these two date sales. 20,000 plus 13,000, which is 33,400. So in this way, guys, you guys can use this dates between DAX function. You guys can take any dates, which you want to perform the calculation. You simply need to enter start date and end date. So I hope guys, now you are clear with this DAX function of dates between. And now let's move towards the next DAX function of our today's class, which is dates in period. So let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first. It returns a table that contains a column of dates that begins with a specified start date and continues for the specified number and type of date intervals. This function is suited to pass a filter to the calculate function. Use it to the filter and expression by standard date intervals such as days, month, quarter or years. And here we have guys four parameters, dates, start date, number of intervals and intervals. Intervals could be day, month, quarter and year. So let's go to the Power BI desktop and apply this DAX function. So with the help of dates in period DAX function guys, we can take any specified date and we can perform the calculation till the last interval like quarter, day, month and year. So let's check with practical. So I will go here and take new measure. 
and let me rename this measure name as dates in period and now i will write my dax function so i will simply start with this calculate and under expression guys i will simply take sum of total sales close the bracket and put it comma here and under next parameter guys now i will write my dax function which is dates in period so the first parameter is dates so i will simply take date column which is from calendar auto table comma and the next parameter is start date so let's suppose i want to start my calculation from january 5 2022 so i will write date dax function here and under date dax function guys i will take year name month name which is january and the day name which is 5 so i want to start my calculation from this january 5 2022 and put it comma here and the next parameter is number of intervals so let's suppose i will put it one here and comma and the last parameter is intervals that means what interval you want to see your calculation let's suppose i want to perform my calculation only one day so firstly i will take day here and close the bracket and hit enter so here is our measure guys and let me drag and drop it here and convert into card visual and now i will go here and convert into actual value so guys our date starts with this 51222 and our interval was one day so the 51222 sale is 20000 which is totally correct and now let's go to the dates in period formula bar and added this formula and let's suppose guys this time i want to calculate the sales of one month so i will simply take month instead of day and close the bracket and hit enter so guys our answer is 54100 so guys our sales starts from this 512022 till 52222 that means january 52222 till february 52222 because i have taken one month sale so whatever the dates comes between january 52222 till february 52222 it will sum of all the sales and now let's cross check so i will simply go here on data view and let's apply filter so we have started our day from january 5 and now i will select only those date which comes under feb 5 2022 so this january comes under till feb 5 and this date is also comes under feb 5 we will not consider this 16 february because it will calculate the sales which starts from 5th january till 5th february so this dates in period function calculate the sales of only these three dates which is 5 january 9 january and 2nd february and now go here and click okay so here we guys can see only three dates are coming which is 9 january 5 january and 2nd february and now let's go to the slicer and click only these three dates which is 9th january 5 january and 2nd of february so here we guys can see the answer which is 54100 so in this way guys you guys can use this dates in period function you can take any specified date and wherever you want to perform the calculation on the basis of intervals guys so you guys can simply change the intervals from here days month quarter and year so i hope guys now you are clear with this function of dates in period so let's move towards the next function of our today's class which is dates mtd here mtd stands for month to date so let's go to the reference page and read the definition first it returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the month to date in the current context and here we have just only one parameter which is dates so guys with the help of this dax function guys we can calculate month to date sale so let's go to the power bi desktop and apply this dax function so let me uncheck this all and i will simply go here and click on new measure and let me rename this measure name as dates mtd so this function guys we will also write with this calculate so firstly i will write calculate dax function 
and under calculate guys i will take sum of total sales and close the bracket and put it comma here and now i will write my dax function which is dates mtd and here guys we have just only one parameter which is dates so i will simply select date column here which is from calendar table and close the bracket and hit enter so here is our measure guys and now let me drag and drop it here and put it into card visual and let me convert into the actual sales first so here guys we can see it calculate month to date sale so now let's go to the data view and let me clear the all the filter first so here month to date means the last dates of the month so here we guys can see the last dates of the month is 10th december 16th december and 30th december so it will calculate only these three sales if we have a more days guys like 31st of december so it will also calculate 31st so if we have more dates guys like 11 december 14 december 13 december so it will calculate all the sales but for the last month but in this data set guys we have just only three dates so month to date dax function calculates only these three days so let me open my calculator first and now let's sum up of these three dates 7508 plus 13 456 and the last is 4092 so our answer is 25056 so here we guys can see our answer is correct so month to date dax function guys it's only calculate the last month of the sales of our data set it will calculate all the sales which comes under the last month and now let's move towards the next dex function of our today's class which is dates qtd here qtd stands for quarter to date so let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first it returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the quarter to date in the current context and again guys here we have just only one parameter which is dates and now let's check with this practical so guys i will go here on dates mtd and let me copy this measure and i will go here and click on new measure and paste it here and let me rename this measure name as dates qtd and now let me go here and change measure from here this time i will take dates qtd and close the bracket and hit enter so here is our measure guys so let me drag and drop it here and convert into the actual value so the last quarter to date sale is 80042 and now let's cross check so guys our last quarter of the year is december november and october so it will calculate only the last year sale of december november and october so let me scroll it down and now let's cross check the last quarter so it will calculate the dates which start from 10th of october until 30 december and now let's cross check so i will add 21748 plus 4006 plus 9752 plus 19480 plus 7508 plus 13456 and the last is 4092 and hit enter so our total sales of last QTD is 80042 which is totally correct so in this way guys you guys can use this dates QTD and now let's move towards the last dex function of our today's class which is dates YTD so this function guys is same like dates qtd and dates mtd so let's go to the reference page and understand the definition first it also returns a table that contains a column of the dates for the year to date in the current context and under dates ytd guys we have two parameters so year and date parameter is optional so let's go to the practical page and understand this dax function so i will go here and copy this measure from here and now i will take new measure from here and paste it here so this time i will rename this as dates 
YTD. And now I will change this formula from here. So instead of dates MTD guys, I will take dates YTD. And close the bracket and hit enter. So let me copy this card visual. And now I will remove this dates QTD and drag and drop it here dates YTD. So it is calculating the last YTD sales which is year to date which is 650943. So to calculate year to date sale guys. So I will change this formatting of this slicer. So under this slicer guys I will take only last year sales which starts from January 1, 2023 till 31st 12, 2023. So I will click here on January 1, 2023. So here we guys can see our answer is 650943 which is totally correct. So in this way guys you guys can use this dates MTD, dates YTD, dates QTD. So I hope guys now you are cleared with all the DAX function of our today's class. So do more practice and explore more yourself and stay connected with us and kindly support this channel. And if anyone wants to learn free Power BI from scratch, so here we have this free YouTube channel guys which name is Power BI full course by Shubham. And under this 50 tutorial guys, I have explained each and every concept in detail. And those who are visit first time on this channel, please kindly hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to press this bell icon guys, else you will miss an update. And for the job seekers guys, we have this free telegram group where I am keep posting latest Power BI jobs opening and you will also find some latest interview questions and answers. So you don't need to pay anything to anyone for jobs and trainings. But if you still think you require paid training sessions guys, so I am also providing one on one paid training sessions. And from day one class guys, I prepare for you interview rounds. So you guys can connect me on LinkedIn or Telegram channel. Both the links are given under the description box. You guys can connect me there. So keep learning and keep growing. Thank you so much guys for your more love and support. Thank you so much.